A Supreme Court weighed in on Michigan's sex offender registry in a decision that will likely bring about a change. Now the justices upheld a decision by a lower court that says certain conditions for sex offenders are unconstitutional. Seven Action News reporter Brian Abels joining us live with what this means moving forward. Brian. Yeah, those justices actually decided to not hear the case, turning down an appeal by the state of Michigan, effectively allowing that lower court decision. Now, here is what is at issue. There are certain conditions handed out in a sweeping fashion for those in the registry instead of a case by case basis. Attorneys for this case successfully argued it treats people as moral lepers because of excessive restrictions. Now, in 2006, Michigan lawmakers made a law that doesn't allow anyone on the sex offender registry to live, work or loiter within 1000 feet of a school. Then in 2011, five years later, the legislature said those convicted should be separated into three tiers based only on the conviction, no other factors. And the rules were retroactive. That's the part that courts have ruled unconstitutional since the Constitution says no law can be made that either increases or decreases punishment after the fact. Now, the decision means that Michigan lawmakers will have to go back to the drawing board and rewrite the sex offender registry in the state of Michigan. Reporting live in Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Thank you, Brian. 609.